I hope all of you good, loyal Americans understand that in the long run, the Islamist extremists are going to win because you can't beat numbers and you can't beat fanaticism, the willingness to die for an idea. A country like ours, preoccupied with jet skis, off-road vehicles, snowboards, jacuzzis, microwave ovens, pornography, lap dances, massage parlors, escort services, panty liners, penis enhancement, tummy tucks, thongs, and odor eaters, doesn't have a prayer, not even a good old-fashioned Christian prayer, against a billion fanatics who hate that country, detest its materialism, and have nothing really to lose. Maybe 50 years ago, but not today, when germs and chemicals and nuclear materials are for sale everywhere. People who don't give a shit and have nothing to lose will always prevail over people who are fighting for some vague sentiment scrawled on a piece of parchment. Folks, they're going to get you, and it ain't going to be pleasant. We can't drop a 5,000-pound bomb on every one of them. They will either run all over us, or in trying, they will turn us into even bigger monsters than we already are. And don't get all excited about this goofy idea of the spread of democracy. No matter who the United States puts in charge to bring peace and order in Iraq or Palestine or anywhere else, those people will be killed. It's that simple. Anyone who supports the United States will be killed. Peace and order will not be tolerated. Start saving your cash for the black market, folks. You're going to need it.